Yeah. Toughest game this year. <laughs> they always got athletes. We just got to match it uh, in a different way and show up. So, it's a fun game. Yeah, that's a big game. Greg Dulcich, class of 2018, athlete. Elijah Washington, class of 2018, running back. Matt Brio, class of 2018, athlete. Darius Prontes, QB, class of 2019. Andrew Menares, class of 2018, athlete. Bobby Gessman, class of 2018, athlete. Kevin Armstead, class of 2020, athlete. The best sports advice I've ever received is from uh, Coach John Wooden. Uh, it's amazing what uh, can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. The best sports advice I've ever received is from my uh, old junior All-American coach. He said, don't hustle when coaches are looking. Hustle all the time. The best sports advice I received is from Coach Gibbons, and he says it takes zero talent to hustle. And he says that every week, and it's just uh, something we do here at St. Francis. We always work hard. The best sports advice I've ever received would probably have to be from a past coach, Coach Potts. Uh, don't matter, don't worry about your height, always work on your speed and just never give up. Well, the best sports advice I've ever received is probably uh, fatigue makes cowards of us all. So when you're really tired, you just have to remember to keep going and uh, try to overcome that adversity. The best sports advice I've ever received is by Vince Lombardi and it said, uh, winners never quit and quitters never win. Well, the best sports advice I've ever received was from my mom. She said, get out of the car and just play. Best sports advice I ever received was from my dad. He always told me, never worry about height, just go out there and play. Favorite team memories got to be when my boy Drew uh, caught that interception against the Legion last year. That got us real hype. My favorite team memory would be uh, when we beat Cathedral back in uh, 2015. We were uh, in a little bit of a slump, and that was a really good uh, team victory. And just running off that field with my brothers was a great, great memory. Favorite team memory was uh, last year against LaSalle. They punted to us. And it was a pretty bad punt. And then Daniel Scott just scooped in and scored. And then everyone just went wild. It was awesome. Favorite team memory would probably have to be waking up at 6 AM every morning and just grinding while everyone else was sleeping. My favorite team memory would have to be uh, beating Lucerna. We lost uh, to them two years in a row. So uh, beating them was like a big uh, victory. My favorite team memory would have to be on Friday nights when I'm with my team in the huddle before the game starts, before we run out on the field. We're together, we're getting hyped with each other and getting our minds right for the game. Favorite team memory was when we were in 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament in Rio Mesa and we played against St. John Bosco. Um, we put out a fight and we didn't come with the W, but we still fought. Favorite team memory was waking up at 6 in the morning and lifting with my brothers. Uh, I think it built a connection with each other and uh, me coming in from Chaminade, uh, I built a lot of good relationships. I didn't really have a free high school player growing up. Uh, I definitely looked at Troy Palmalu. Uh, he was coming up. I loved watching his little highlights, just his physicality and the way uh, he attacked everything. Uh, the most inspirational player for me was uh, Dietrich Riley. Came to St. Francis, uh, got out, went to UCLA, and uh, yeah, he just did big things. I don't really have a favorite high school player growing up, but uh, I really enjoyed watching Taylor Mays at USC. Most inspirational high school player for me was uh, Travis Talianko. He came here and he was just all over the field, playing offense, defense, special teams, just every position, and doing all, doing all the good stuff for us. Most inspirational high school player would probably have to be Dietrich Riley. Uh, the kid was raw, he came through St. Francis a couple years ago and got a full ride to UCLA. And my favorite high school player would have to be Joe Moody. He came here a couple years ago and you know he was small like me, but he made plays on the field. He played everything and uh, he was an all-around great player. The most inspirational high school player growing up was Brad Kaya. Uh, he went to Crespi, that's where I went, and uh, ended up going to Chaminade, but he just put up numbers always. Just always got the W. Most inspirational high school player growing up was TJ Pledger. I feel like he was the best running backs in the Valley. He worked really hard, and I got the chance to work with him, and uh, he's a really hard worker. Favorite college team, probably Oregon. I like their uh, speed, and I've just always liked their offense. My favorite college team growing up was USC. So I've always been a USC kid. I uh, loved it, loved the program, loved everything about it. Growing up. Favorite college team growing up is USC. Um, a lot of my family went there, my brother's there now, so I've just been growing up as a USC fan. My favorite college team would probably have to be UC, uh, USC. My favorite college team growing up would probably have to be USC. My favorite college team growing up uh, is UCLA. Uh, I went to their games as a kid, and I loved that program over there, and one day I'd like to go to school there. My favorite college team growing up was Oregon. Uh, I just like the speed of their play, and their uniforms were dope, too. My favorite college team growing up was Alabama. They're a powerhouse. They run the ball a lot and uh, they produce a lot of good running backs. Uh, what I did in the off season to get better, uh, I came to St. Francis, uh, worked on my footwork, and mostly just hit the weight room. In the off season, I hit the weight room a lot, got really uh, got bigger, 
Uh, did a lot of footwork with coach, uh, trying to work on my handwork and work on my speed. In the off season to get better, we came in here every morning at 6 a.m. in the weight room, worked hard, and then after school we got footwork in and speed and got after it every day. In the off season to get better, we probably have to be working out with my brothers uh, in the mornings and just getting up early to work out. In the off season, we had uh, 6 a.m. lifts, and then I would go to MMA after school and work out. So, I mean, I'd get uh, like twice to work in, and then uh, I uh, lost a little bit of weight and got faster. Off season, I put on some weight. I worked out twice a day for months on end. I woke up in the morning at 6 a.m. with my boys and went to training. I went to camps, and, you know, I tried to get my skills better. So what I did in the off season to get better was uh, get my speed up, you know, speed kills. In the off season to get better was work on my feet work, work on my upper body by lifting, and uh, training with my running back coach, Milton Knox.